Pork barrel scam whistleblower Ben Hur Louis was back at the Sandigan Bayan today. Louis testified anew at the bail hearing of detained Senator Bong Revilla Jr., one of those facing plunder and draft charges related to the multi billion peso scam. Sweden Velado filed this report. The prosecution's principal state witness, Ben Herloy, testified that during his service as finance officer at JLN Corporation, owned by Janet Lim Napolis, he would be ordered to hand over rebates or kickbacks to Senator Bong Revilla Jr., his former staff attorney Richard Cambe, and other lawmakers involved in PDAF scam. According to the defense, it is hard to prove verbal instructions, but Ben Hur quickly replied that records of his daily transactions signed by recipients of rebates could be used as evidence. Louis stated that once Senator De Villa submits a project proposal, it is Napoles who transacts with implementing agencies such as the National Agribusiness Corporation or NABCOR. But the defense said that a private individual like Napolis does not have the authority to negotiate with government offices because she lacks special power of attorney. Kailangan sa batas, isa-isahin natin. Huwag naman yung general statement. Diba? Korap yan. O, korap yan. Sabihin mo, paano naging korap? Ano bang ginawa niya? One, two, three, four, five. Pag sinabi mong tumanggap siya ng commission, tumanggap siya ng rebate, general statement yan eh. Isipin mo si Mrs. Napolis na nakikipag-deal sa NAPCOR, pwede ba naman makipag-deal ang private individual sa gobyerno nang walang special power of attorney? Di ba? However, Louis asserted that he has no knowledge of mechanisms on how to transact with government agencies. Meanwhile, in the middle of Attorney David's cross-examination on Louis, an amount of 9 million pesos received by Cambe as commission on October 6, 2009, floated. When asked if who gave the huge amount of rebate to Cambe, ben -Hur failed to give a coherent response. The defense put it on record that Louis' testimonies are inconsistent, but the prosecution answered that it is normal for ben -Hur to get confused since the transaction materialized five years ago. For People's Television, this is Sweden Velado.